What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an underrated dragon team, Dragalge. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take two seconds out of your day, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Gotta give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But yeah, we're using Dragalge today, and I feel like this dragon does not get as much love as it deserves. It is a poison dragon type, and it's just super cool. It is a, uh, it's basically a seahorse. It's a seahorse, but it's a dragon. I really like it. I really dig it. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Pelipper. It's got a Drizzle and the Focus Sash as its item and ability. Rocket Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Tailwind, and Y Guard. Solid moveset for any Pelipper. Second Pokemon is going to be Pelipper's best buddy. It is going to be Dreadnought over here with Swift Swim. Doubles the speed in the rain, and it has a clear amulet as its item. It's got Waterfall, Rock Slide, both for stab moves, Ice Spinner for a lovely coverage move, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Third Pokemon is going to be Toxtricity. I feel like a lot of people like Toxtricity, but it's just not that like good in this meta as of right now, but it's really not that bad at the same time. It's got Punk Rock as its ability, the Throat Spray as its item, Overdrive, Boom Burst, Sludge Bomb, and Protect for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Dragalge over here. Poison Point as its ability, and it's holding the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Dragon Pulse and Sludge Bomb for its item and ability, or not item and ability, for its both of its stab moves. It's got Terra Blast, which will change the fire, considering that's Dragalge's Terra type. And it's got Haze to kind of counter up onto those Dondozo teams. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Mimikyu. Mimikyu has been solid, and I've been using it a lot on the rank ladder as of recently. This one has Disguise and the Mental Herb, and this Rock and Play Rough, Pain Split, Trick Room, and Trick. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Pinchurchin. Pinchurchin is actually very underrated. It can pop Electric Surge with its ability, and this one has a Life Orb as an item to make it do a crazy amount of damage. It has Sucker Punch for first time priority, Liquidation, Protect, and Zing Zap for its other three moves. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Dragalge team. First match coming at you guys, we are going up against a T-Tar and Lycanroc Sandrush team with Garchomp. Murkrow, Golden Go, and Rotom Wash. We definitely want to be bringing in our Pelipper just to try to get, get some weather control up against this team. But who else should we bring and how else should we go into it? I feel like popping Trick Room could really benefit us. So I'm really digging Mimikyu here for the lead. So I'm going to try to pop the Trick Room. And I might go into Dragalge as lead too. I don't think Dragalge is too bad here, right? We could go Dragalge as lead. Or we can go in with a Pokemon more so like Pinch Urchin. I just need somebody to protect maybe turn one. And then possibly swap Mimikyu into Pelipper. And then have the Trick Room Pokemon really thrive. So I'm thinking going Mimikyu and hmm. Do we rock out with Dragalge here? I do have Haze on Dragalge too, which I really like. I I could go Pinchurch. Pinchurch and get Protect too. Plus we could set Electric Terrain, which I really like. And who should we go into here? Hmm. I think I'm just going into Pinchurch. I don't mind Pinchurch. I don't mind it. And then we can go into Pelipper. Because the reason we want to go into Pinchurch. Which I just realized is like, say he goes into Sand Rush team, turn one, I could protect, set up Trick Room, and then I could swap into Pelipper, which could uh, set the rain, and then we have Liquidation on Pinchurchin, so that can really boost his damage. So I'm, I'm all about that. <clears throat> I'm all about that. I'm liking this lead. Hopefully we can set this Trick Room up and try to get a get a good battle going here in match number one, because we're going up against a very, very tough team with very meta Pokemon, right? Lycan Rock and Titar have been... Through the meta as of recently. I think they're really strong at the same time. So I'm looking to I'm looking to grab some wins up against some strong teams today. But E is gonna end up leading T Tar and like a rock. I don't mind that. I mean you have speed already. I think Pinchurch and just had unless he drops a double rock slide. Double rock slide could be scary, but I gotta go for the uh I gotta go for the protect trick room, correct? It makes the most sense. Trick room and just straight up protect. I'm gonna hope he's not doubling down into my Mimikyu slot. I mean, double rock slide, I feel like we can survive with that disguise. But we'll see. Gonna end up going for a rock slide. Can you dodge one of them, Mimikyu? Can you just dodge this one? No, you don't dodge this. That comes out here. That's gonna take off for disguise. And what's he going for here? Anything but a crunch. Rock slide again. Again, I think we should be able to eat this up, but my problem here is going to be the flinch. It's gonna be the flinch. Better not flinch. Pop trick room. Love you. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. So from here, like I said, I can straight up. I can straight up just go into Pelipper. Swap the weather. Liquidation down onto that. Uh, liquidation onto the what's called. 
the lichen rock all day right yeah all day so now that we have the rain lichen rock most likely is going to be focus ash i can just sucker punch it afterwards or in this case we are faster so i could just you know just hit it with a move don't matter the liquidation gonna fly this should be able to bring it down yeah the focus ash which is a solid turn for us and we'll go from there i mean he could drop rock slides on me that, that will ko my pelper but you're gonna need to drop two you're gonna need to drop two and yeah i think pinchurchin should be able to eat up another rock slide can you actually like rock hits harder what oh, does not i'm cool with that turn i'm really cool with that turn so he might swap t-tar here he might protect like rock but i'm all about this because now i can get out your gouge i have weather control i can really start getting after this battle now the real question is do we think that uh it's possible that actually i'd rather go into a liquidation into i'd rather go into a liquidation into t-tar here but do we think it's possible he's gonna thrasslize he's just not he just straight up withdraws that's fine he's gonna withdraw into maybe guard chomp no rotom so that's a smart little play rotom's gonna come out here hopefully like rock's not protecting he's gonna endure okay i think he's just trying to waste out trick and turns at this point liquidation's still gonna fly a little bit of chunk chunky damage onto it i'll kind of go from there i'll just go from there zendara's just gonna have him soak up that shot and then i'm legit just gonna slide this dragon pulse over to you and go into another liquidation i guess yeah i think it's just a play he might swap into t-tar here again no he doesn't so we get rid of you that's huge i'll take that i'm kind of go from there I think Rotom might take out Pinchurchin at this point. Actually, Pinchurchin just takes out himself. That that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> because I was hoping Pinchurchin could just eat up the shot. <laughs> or not eat up the shot. Just take the shot. So my Dragology won it. We drop a nice little Dragon Pulse here. He's going to pop a Hydra Pump. Which we should be able to soak pretty well here. Yeah. All day. And now I can bring out Mimikyu. And Mimikyu speed's decent. I mean, it's not terrible. 116. Not terrible. Not terrible. And I wonder who he's going to throw out here. Potentially just the straight up T-Tar, right? It is going to be T-Tar. When T-Tar comes out here, I'm scared a little bit of Rock Slides. And I could tear it in the fire, but that really wouldn't do too much. I think I have to go straight after this thing, right? I think he's going to throw Slides. What's your Terror type, Mimikyu? Electric. That, don't, don't, that doesn't do too much for us. That doesn't help us out too much. I could Pain Split. I think I'm gonna do. Do I want to tear it in the fire? I really don't want to. I want to tear it into electric. Electric's not bad. Do I want to? Yeah, I think I'm gonna tear slice into electric here. And I'm just gonna paint split. That's gonna be my plan. Let's do it. So we're gonna tear slice. He's gonna tear slice. I think he's tear slicing into flying with the with the T-Tar, right? The flying. A lot of these T-Tars are flying. This battle's... Oh, this one's coming close. I don't think... I don't know if we have this one. Come on. I want to win. I want to I wanna get started here with a win. We're Thrasslizing as well. I wish we had, like, an electric move here. This would be crazy. A little Terra Blast action. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to pain split it. Get some HP back and start doing damage on T-Tar. Because T-Tar is scaring me. Definitely is scaring me. Dragon Pulse going to fly here. How much damage are we going to do to this thing? Wow, that thing soaks. Ice punch coming. I'm dead. Oh no, we survived. But Buffett's mm, looking scary. Rocky Helmet's doing a little bit of damage. He's got a Thunderbolt. Wow, you all could be for me? That hurts the soul. I do get off a lovely pain split here. Give me your HP, baby. Give me your HP. Your gouging. Can you eat this up? Give me one more turn for you. Love you. We get one more turn off of him. He's taking Buffett's. They might double protect here. They might double protect. Hmm. Well, I'll take a Buffets. <laughs> I'll take a Buffets. Oh, and Trick Room is gone. That's really not too bad considering my what's called could go first. Oh, they still have another Pokemon, which sucks. They still have another Pokemon, which sucks. But I should go for a Playrough here. Trying to finish off this Rotom. Might double protect here. No Playrough comes out here. We get rid of Rotom. We get a crit. That's lovely. And I think he just pops a Rock Slide here, correct? Rock Slide seems like to be the play. Yeah. Hurt soul and that might be GG's. No, we survive a turn. Can we win this in any way? I don't think we can. 
I don't think we can. I just feel like your Groudy was very underwhelming. I love that Pokemon though. I really like it. I feel like it needs like weakness policy, right? I feel like it needs weakness policy. Golden Go is gonna come out here. And I think we go first, but we don't have anything to take out Golden Go. We really don't, but I wanna see this thing stats just for uh, future matches. Yeah, it's special attacks, and it's more so just kind of there for, like, Hazen, you know? And I feel like he needs, like, to be super effective onto some Pokemon in order to be pretty solid, you know? Because its defensive stats are phenomenal. I like its defense stats and HP stats not that bad. But its special attacks are a little underwhelming, considering you have Pokemon like Pinchurchin, whose attack stats pretty high. So I would rather just use, like, Pinchurchin in that case. But yeah, all around, Dragology's okay. I feel like it needs to be going up against super effective Pokemon. But I'm just going to run this battle. Match came pretty close. We got to showcase a few Pokemon. But we can hop into our second battle and look for our first win. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against like a semi-trick room team, I guess. Yes, for Rigoraf, but that's about it, right? I think Rigoraf's kind of just there to counter trick room. He's also rocking Murkrow. And then he's got the Golden Go. Gallade, Miyash, I feel like Pelper and Drenal are just a really solid lead for this team. So I'm going to go Pelper. I am going to go Dreadnought here. I might bring Toxtricity as a back-end Pokemon and maybe just Mimikyu for later situations. Or I could go Toxtricity and Pinchurchin. And maybe pop some overdrives later in the match. Because I'm going to be looking to set up a Tailwind here, correct? Makes the most sense just to set up a Tailwind. I feel like he's going to potentially maybe lead like Miascarada. But then I could just Terrasilize. And what is your Terror type? Please don't be Water. It is Water. I don't really like that, but I'm going to have to deal with it. You do have Protect, so I can Protect and kind of just Tailwind. But yeah, I think I'm all about that. Go and Toxtricity and Pinchurchin as the last two Pokemon. But we have to grab ourselves a win here. That first match was pretty solid. We played not bad. We were able to set up Trick Room, get it going. But I feel like Dragalgy and the Pokemon that we had up against the Pokemon that they had, really, we didn't have a lot of value with like getting more damage off. Because Titar was able to soak up shots. We didn't really have anything to just super effective shot that. Besides our Pinchurchin went to Rasslize, But at that time, we already lost our Pinchurchin. My lovely little spiky Pokemon. But I feel like your Galgi and Pinchurchin were a lot better in Sword and Shield, considering you had Dynamax. But yo, look at this dude's trainer card. Just a little Hoppet. <laughs> Shiny Hoppet, I should say. Just staring at your soul. But yeah, I think they were better in uh in Sword and Shield, considering you had Dynamax. But he's going to end up going Frigoraph and Miascarada. And at this point, I feel like I just protect my Dreadnought. And I throw a Hurricane, right? That's got to be my plan. I feel like I just protect my boy and pop a Hurricane. Because if I had to guess anything that's going on, it's got to be that Miascarada is going after my Dreadnought. So I'm protecting them. I don't have a Terror type to kind of change into to eat up a shot. So I have to protect and pop this Hurricane and get off some damage. Because then next turn, I can just simply outspeed with Dreadnought and go from there. So I'm going to land this little little protect. Is Frigraf popping Trick Room? There's definitely a possibility. But there's the Flower Trick that we that we saw. And that's got to be going in Dreadnought, correct? Yes. Okay, so we make a solid read there. I do wonder what Frigoraph's doing. Kind of scaring me. I'm going to be able to drop a Hurricane into this thing. Chip up some nice damage and bring it down to Focus Ash. That's a really solid turn for us. Frigoraph, whatever you do, don't pop a Trick Room. Actually, I don't I don't know how to feel about that. He's going to go for a Twin Beam. That's sick. I like that. Oh, shooting again. <laughs> little Twin Beam action. That move looks sick in this game. That was my first time seeing it. But at this point, my boy should be able to outspeed, right? Yes, you outspeed now. Rockside can finish him off. And I can set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. Correct? Or do I throw a Hydro Pump? I think I set up a Tailwind for the rest of the squad. And we just Rock Slide. I'm with it. Rock Slide coming out here. Don't tell me Miyashi why I dodged it. Are you kidding me? The one Pokemon I need to hit. I miss. And now my Dreadnought is dead because of it. Bruh, this game. Do me dirty. Do me so dirty. Don't like it one bit. Helper should go next, though. We should be able to get off our tailwind. That hurts. Soul broken. Heart hurting. The one Pokemon I needed to hit. Just the one. Just the one. Just the one Pokemon I need to hit. Like, Frick Raph could dodge it. That little giraffe over there. Fine. Don't hit that thing with a rock slide, but slap up on that. That cat, man. I need it dead. I need it dead. But you know what? Now we're going into lovely little Pinchurchin Toxtricity. And we're going to look to win this match. Pop my throat spray. We're getting after it. We're getting after it. It's overdrive. Overdrive should be down base. So I'm looking to pop my... I'm looking to pop my throat spray here. I believe overdrive is throat spray, right? Yeah, it's a sound base move. But terrestrializing brings me out normal typing. 
I don't think I'm going to use my normal type move. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go here. Because I believe electric terrain boosts electric type moves, right? Let me see. Electric terrain for five turns power. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm able to pop an overdrive. I have speed, right? What's your speed? Should be 110 around. 115. That's solid. So you outspeed. I can go for that. And I'm just going to double down by zing zapping you. Just in case this thing wants to try to pop a trick room. Overdrive coming out here. Doing some big time damage. Getting rid of the Miascarada. And then we should be able to get rid of Frig Ramp. And that should pop Third Spray, right? That's Third Spray move. It is a Third Spray move. Beautiful. So next turn, if I wanted to, I could Thrasalize in a normal. I could pop a Boom Burst. And I could protect my Pinch Urchin. We're getting rid of this, this Frig Ramp. See you later. See you later. So we get rid of both of them. I don't mind where we're sitting. I really don't, considering we have Tailwind. I have Life Orb Pinch Urchin. Pinch Urchin is still going to be probably slowest on the field. It speeds like at 35. So times that by two with the Tailwind. It's at 65. But I feel like we have to go into a nice, nice little bit boom burst here, right? Protect boom burst. Let's see what he sends out. It's going to be Cerule Ledge. Ah, that's the problem. We might have to just stick into overdrive here. I might stay into overdrive. I think that has to be my play to stay into an overdrive. And do I swap typings here? Do I go into normal? No, because Glade is fighting. I could go overdrive here and I could terrasalize you, which I'm thinking of doing. And just things happen. And who would I rather get rid of? Who would I rather get rid of in this situation? Maybe Cerule Edge? I mean, Cerule Edge probably has Shadow Sneak. Gallade probably has Focus Ash. Who would I rather go after here? That is a real question. Hmm. These are tough. These are tough questions. I'm gonna go after Cerule Edge. I feel like that thing is just scaring me more considering it has double blades as hands. <laughs> But we're Terrasalizing here. Again, I don't think Terrasalizing my Toxtricity is going to be the play. Considering he has a fighting type Pokemon on the field. It's just not the play. I'm going to go Electric. I got the Electric Train popping here. And we're going to try to look for this win here. Wide Guard? No! It's not cool at all. It's not cool at all. Not even close to being cool. Not even close to being cool. This is a really smart play by him. But I still have Zing Zap flying over. Solid wide guard from him. Do we think he goes for a double wide guard? Wow, wide guard's doing dirty. Bitter Blade's gonna fly. Wish it will soak pretty well, yeah. We soak pretty well. Pinchurchin's gonna go next. And we're gonna drop a nice level Zing Zap. How much damage are you doing with this? This could do a nice chunk of damage. Your orb too. Pinchurchin! My dog! I like that. Okay, so from here, you know what? We're free to pop uh, overdrives now. And the reason we're, we're free to pop them is because if it wide guards, it's just going to take damage from my Pinturgeon. And if it doesn't wide guard, then it just takes overdrive damage. So I'm all about just going in this, right? This this should be GG easy. Yep, battle was canceled. Pinturgeon and Toxtricity clutching up that second battle. Third and final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Tauros team with Baxcalibur, Volcarona, Aqua Breed Tauros, and then Mimikyu, King Gambit, and me, Alice This one should be tough, but hopefully we can grab ourselves a win and grab ourselves a winning record with this team. Because that last battle was pretty solid. We got Toxtricity and my boy Pinchurchin out there doing absolute work. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? Do I lead weather? Just straight up weather? I mean, I think miascarada has got to be a lead. So you know what? I'm going to go Dragalge here. And I'm thinking Mimikyu of my own. Do I try to pop Trick Room? And just get after with Dragalge? But I mean, he can counter Trick Room pretty well. I really wonder who he's going to lead. It could be Miascarada and Volcarona. But I need to pop Trick Room, right? Trick Room needs to come out for us. So, you know, I'm going to go Pinchurch and I'm just going to go full-blown Trick Room squad. I'm going to say, screw the weather. We do not want it. We're going after it with Trick Room. We're getting after it with Trick Room. So I'm locking it in. I'm locking it out. Let's look to grab ourselves this win here in match number three. But yeah, that last battle, lost my, lost my weather squad. I brought out the boy Toxtricity Pinchurch, and they clutched it up really well. That wide guard scared, scared me at the end there. I was like, oh no, we might lose this battle. But now nah, we were fine. My boy Pinchurch was able to rip up and get after it. We seen about Miascarada and and Baxcalibur. So from here, you know, I just straight up, I cannot protect you. I thought I'd protect on this thing. We're gonna have to swap you. We are gonna have to swap him. We're gonna have to go into Pinch Urchin here. That hurts the soul. I mean, I could tear it into fire. Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try size into fire. And do I Dragon Pulse here or do I Sludge Bomb into Miascarada? I think like I Sludge Bomb into Miascarada just for the sheer fact that I, I can uh, take off this thing's Focus Ash. 
And I can always play it off next turn if I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Unthrass Ice and Fire here. For Gouji, let's do it. Because Max Calibur is scaring me with that ice. Oh. Oh. Definitely scaring me. And you might think I'm protecting here. You could definitely think I'm protecting. Well, if Max Calibur goes after me with Ice Field Spear, that could be bad. If this is a loaded dice. I've been seeing a lot of loaded dice as of recently. A lot, a lot of loaded dice as of recently. Does he get Icicle Spear, take off my disguise, and then start chunking away my, my HP and pretty much KO me? We'll see what, what they want to do. He's going to go for a knockoff here. Take off my disguise and my mental herb. I mean, that's, that's fine. As long as you're not doubling down. As long as you're not doubling down. Please leave me alone, Backscalibur. Icicle Spear. Cool. I'm fine with that. Good to harass lives for me. I get off Trick Room. I'm going to be able to get off this Sludge Bomb. I have speed next turn. I'm loving it. But yeah, this is what I was worried about. That going into my Mimikyu, but luckily it went to my Dragalge. So, I thought I had Protect. We improvised here, and it worked out pretty well here. Let's look at that damage. This is what, this is why I said in match number one, we have to get Dragalge out there up against Pokemon he's super effective up against. Oh, and we get the poison. That's huge. So we say bye-bye to Meowth's Karate. Dragalge! Doing some work now. Doing some work. There's tricking for us. Um, he could end up Terrasalizing back to It is definitely an option. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to do next turn. Because I have two Pokemon that are super effective onto Max Calibre at, at this moment. We have Play Rough Mimikyu. We have uh, Dragon Pulse on the Dragalge. And we have Toxtricity and Pinchurchin. Pinchurchin thrives, Tricker. Thrives. So I expect this to probably lose a Pokemon this turn. But he's going to go into Gambit. I do not like that. I might have to go after that like, Gambit. I do not like that. Actually, I have Terra Blast. Wonderful. I'm going to Terra Blast in that. And I'm just going to go straight in here. He's got to Thrasalize somebody. So we're play roughing into Backscalibur. We're terrible assing into King Gambit. I feel like King Gambit is the Pokemon I am most worried about. That Pokemon is an absolute menace in Trick Room. Absolute menace. But Dragology should go first above anything else. So we're hoping that King Gambit does not Thrasalize, or if it is going to Thrasalize, stay Steel type. But most of the time, they change into Dark. So we'll see. We'll see. But one of them is going to be Thrasalizing. I feel like it's it's a it's one of those turns where he our opponent has to right. Yeah. So we're going to hope that it's Bax Caliber, but I have a feeling it's Gambit in the dark. No, it is going to be Bax Caliber. I'm all about it. We can change Bax Caliber into straight water. I can deal with that. That's not too bad. I have Pinchurchin in the back end to deal with that. And I have don't I have Toxtricity as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Terror Blast flying here. Fire coming at you. King Gambit. Can this take it out? I don't know how much damage Dragalge does. Oh Dragalge, that was very underwhelming. That was really underwhelming. Like, substantially underwhelming, right? That was really underwhelming. Now, this thing has Terra Blast. You're dead, Dragalge. Glade Rush. Glade Rush can KO us. But he takes double damage next turn. He does get Poison Point, which is a bad. Oh, dude, that was rough. That was real rough. That was that was real rough. Dragalge, I thought you were doing at least, at least half at minimum. That was very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. But still, you did some work. I like the value that we got off of that. We took out the Miyasko out of with that. We got off some damage there. We got the poison onto the back scalper. Now I get to bring in my boy Pinchurchin, who doesn't play games. Pinchurchin does not play games. Pinchurchin and Toxicity. So really what I want to do here is... Do I straight... Does a straight overdrive KO the back scalper? I feel like it should, right? Because what I want to do here is go into you with Zing Zap. Because I want to make sure that thing dies. And I want to go into Overdrive with... With Toxtricity. And what's your what's your special attack? Once that, this should KO. I mean, it's you have Punk Rock too, which boosts that damage. So yeah, I'm going to go Overdrive. Plus you have the Terrain boost. My only problem here would be... Both of them might be able to be out, out speeding me in this... Uh, in this Trick Room. My church is obviously going to go first. And maybe, just maybe, a Zingzak can KO King Gambit. But King Gambit's defensive stats are pretty solid, I would say. I wouldn't say they're awful. I would say they're they're, they're above mid, you know? The Max Caliber protects here. Okay. That's fine. And he's going to go for Sucker Punch. Which hits me hard. A little too hard. But we should be able to KO this thing here, right? Yeah, we do that. We lose some HP. But not go for an Overdrive. Finish that Gambit off. And more importantly, get my Throat Spray cooking. So I got Throat Spray cooking. I'm liking that. He has Bax Caliber left. Trick Room is... How many turns left in Trick Room? I think we have one more. Which could be really good for us. Could be really, really good for us. 
depending on what Pokemon he brings out, I might end up protecting my Toxtricity. Because if it's a Pokemon that I know is slower than Toxtricity, I can just waste out the stricken turns and then have Toxtricity outspeed with plus one special attack boost and kind of go from there. It's going to be Tauros. And we do not outspeed Tauros. But it's water. But it's water. But it is water. He could go for an Aqua Jet. Who do I KO here? Who do I KO here? Why Sing Zap? I feel like we have to Sing Zap the back to Calibre. I'm just going to go for an Overdrive. It's my play all day. He does have Aqua Jet, which I could definitely see happening. Or I can just see like a double protect coming out here. I should check Trick Room turns, but I'm almost positive it's one left. This might be last turn Trick Room. Last turn Trick Room. But yo, the Dragalgy and the Mimikyu setup. I really like how he played that one with Thrasilization. But there's Protect from Tauros. Is he going for double protect? If not, Max Calibre dies out here. And we go for Ice Shard, which is rather smart. But we survive. But we survive, which is ridiculous. That's ridiculously huge. So we get rid of Max Calibre. We have two electric type Pokemon up against a water Tauros. Who does not have Focus Ash because me asked about to have Focus Ash. And we are in the terrain. Beautiful, lovely, awesome, dope. One, we can one shot, no problem. Any of these Pokemon can one shot the same. And wait, is Shikram not gone? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Even better. Even better. Even better. Give me that winning record. It's all mine. Hand it over. Hand it over. Hand it over. Probably going for Aqua Jet. I can definitely see that happening, right? Yep, there's Aqua Jet. But yeah, Zing Zap, Life Orb, Pinchurch in, in the Electric Train says GG, right? Big time damage. This thing hits really, really hard. Okay. Really, really hard. Little Sea Urchin. <gasps> sea Urchin, no. Hold up. Sea Urchin, no. Sea Urchin, no. Yo, sea Urchin. <laughs> My dude. Let me see your defense stats. Okay, they're not terrible. They're not terrible. They're not terrible. They're not terrible. But Raging, this bull hits hard. I have Sucker Punch. It's not very effective. It's not going to kill. I'd rather go for Zing Zap. Close combat. Can you eat that? Pin Churchin! The best to ever do it! Pin Churchin! Clutching up. Defensive stats were just enough. Survived on 10 HP. Lovely. Get rid of that Tauros, and we end up winning this battle. What a clutch by Pin Churchin in that third and final battle. But yo, I absolutely love this team. Rocking it off meta team in the mass tier. Always a good time, especially when you're using Pokemon that you haven't used yet in Scarlet and Violet. I haven't used your Gouge yet or Pin Churchin, so, so using them for the first time was definitely a lot of fun. Toxtricity, Pin Churchin, Pelipper, and Drenal, I feel like are like the hardcore, like better Pokemon on this team. But your Gouge and Mimikyu setting up that Trick Room and rocking out with your Gouge is always fun. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.